Hey there, just back with another video today. Hopefully everybody's doing well. Um, we are going to be talking today about scrapbooking your old photos. And we're not talking about the antique vintage -y ones um, that are black and white that you saw in, um, in antique stores or your long lost great grandparents. We're talking about those square ones from the 60s, 70s and early 80s. The ones that um, have faded, are yellowed and not probably the greatest quality. So that is what we're talking about today. Many of you, like me, have uh, recently probably accumulated some of your parents' photos and you're not really sure what to do with them. I took them out of those old rickety albums that were falling apart and I thought I really need to document this in the best way I know how, which is clearly scrapbooking, but how do you scrapbook those? Like they're not the easiest, they're smaller photos and the coloring's not great. So I've come up with a whole bunch of different layouts that I did on those and I thought I'd share those with you. So here's a couple layouts I'm going to show you. I did multiple pictures on these two layouts. They're in albums so hopefully you can see them okay. But anyways, um, these ones here, um, I tried to get in as many pictures as I could because there's so many pictures and they were all of the same theme. I went all the way around the whole outer edge of the two pages because this was going to be a two page layout and I clearly don't normally do two page layouts but I did with a lot of my older photos just because we had the space. This one was a camping trip with my family back in 1978. I put just a piece of ephemera here, just paper ephemera and some sticker letters. On this one, this was a Polaroid. These two were both Polaroids and the rest were just regular square photos. I put just three stickers on there, a sticker here. This was all from one certain line and uh, some word stickers here and then put the title there and this was all freehand and uh, I just used a black zig marker and colored it in with a pencil crayon. So this is one idea with that, to try and get across the whole idea. I didn't want to do any journaling because I thought it was pretty self-explanatory. You could put journaling on if you wanted to, but I knew that this was just a camp tri trip with my family and my grandparents to Montana. There's that one. This one I did, it was a one page layout. The sticker actually fell off, I've got to pop that back on. But this was a little bit bigger sticker, or pay, sorry, pictures. Um, these ones, it's kind of funny because they actually had the date on them. So I knew that this was 1981. So I popped that in there, put these in here. And the funny thing with this one is, I had just recently got a camera um, for Easter this year, and I remember this. These were all pictures that I took, other than this one, my sister took that one. I took all of these pictures, and they're not good pictures whatsoever. Um, this is my grandmother, you know, leaning over. I don't even have my grandmother's head in this picture. But I thought it was hysterical because it was my first attempt at taking photos. And my grandparents are no longer with us. And I thought this was a cool way to capture what was happening at the time. And just my introduction to photography because it's a huge part of my life now. This one here. Same thing, these were the square photos. And uh, I really wanted to capture this trip. This was uh, a trip when I was camping with my grandparents and uh, we were with some of her friends and my grandmother's friends and we were in Montana. You'll see a lot of Montana because I did um, originally grow up in Southern Alberta and we went to Montana a lot. Most of my family lived close to the border so we spent a lot of time there. But this same thing, I tried to get the pictures all in. It was all taken back to back. Um, I took these pictures and here, same thing. I just did very basic journaling and that was it. I thought like I really wanted the focal point to be what the pictures are. Same with this one. This was early 80s, well 85 we figured. Um, my grandparents, these were their photos. I was not on this trip but I knew the people in the pictures with them. And I wanted to just get an idea of what was going on. And uh, my grandparents were huge, huge campers and loved camping in the outdoors. And I just wanted to get that 
kind of captured into this layout because they're no longer with us. This was kind of a secondary part of that page, but it was a different um, feel. Same people, same trip, just a different look. This one I just made lines around the outer edge because I used a craft sheet of paper and I just wanted to give it a little bit more dimension. This one, again we're going back to the square pictures and this was a camp trip with all of my parents' friends when I was just a wee young child. But um, same thing, we spent a lot of time with these people and uh, we were very close to them and uh, we still talk to many of them today. And this one, um, same idea, it was all the square photos, but over here you will see, I don't know if they're all in, but these were all Polaroids. So with this one, I did cut off the outer edges because there's so much white space, I cut it off. But this one, same thing, I just spaced out the pictures it basically gave me everything I need to know. This was all, I believe it was Scrapbook Customs. I just cut it out out of a page and I wrote down the different families we were with. And that was kind of it because for me myself to look at these, I know who everybody is in these pictures. My children have never met any of these people and probably, to be honest, they won't really care. But this was more for me, these, these pages with these square pictures. It was a great time in my childhood and I just wanted to remember the different times we spent with all these people as some of them are starting to um, pass away. I wanted to have something to remember from when I was younger. And one thing with these square photos, try and add color because so many of them have faded and they're losing their color. It's great to add color so you can give it a little bit more of a zip. Which brings me to this one. This was the summer of 1980 and my family was camping. Um, I believe we were in BC at the time, but this was a very colorful page already with just the flowers in the corners. I did add some washi tape and my stamps. And um, yeah, it's just three pictures of my sister and I having fun. Put a little bit of title on here with just some sticker letters and a swimsuit. And that was all I thought it really needed. Like. These were just three separate pictures of the same thing and uh, I just wanted to have fun. These were BC, I believe, and this was in Alberta, but it was the summer that we went camping. I just wanted to kind of incorporate all of that together and uh, I enjoyed how it turned out and same thing, I know it's my sister and I and um, it was just bright and colorful and added to kind of fading pictures. So now you've seen the pages I've created. Um, I'd love to see some of the things that you create with older photos. They are not the easiest thing to scrapbook. You need to sometimes really think outside of the bubble and come up with some different ideas on what you'd like to do and just ways to make it vibrant and come back to life again. I hope this helped you and I hope you have fun creating new layouts with these fun pictures.